Drifters revolves around real-life soldier Shimazu Toyohisa, who is mortally wounded at the Battle of Sekigahara. As he walks from the field bleeding from a mortal wound, he is swept into a world of magic, where he and countless other famous warriors are forced to clash in an endless battle. The manga started serialization in Shonen Gahosha's magazine, Young King Hours, on April 30, 2009. Seven years later, it was adapted on anime and was aired from October 7, 2016 to December 23, 2016. The first season includes 12 episodes with the preview of episode 13 as the start of second season. Kuta Hirano was born in 1973 in Adachi, Tokyo. He began his career as a manga assistant and later began producing hentai doujinshi, pornographic self-published work, as well as published manga with various publishing companies. Out of his early work, Angel of Dust and Koyote Hangyaku no Resistance were his most popular. He used many of his Helsing characters in his previous manga such as Pip Bernadette in Koyote and Father Anderson in Angel Dust. Much of his earlier works are very difficult to obtain due to their limited publication and are thus thought of as a collector items. Kuta Hirano as a person seems to be very laid back, funny, and also quite lewd. When he was interviewed about the Helsing Ultimate OVA, he thought OVA stood for opi which is boobs, vagina, anal. He also jokes about Sarah's boobs growing bigger as the series progress. Hirano also seems to be a big fan of mecha anime. During his interview, he makes allusions to Gundam, Macross, Space Runway Idian, and Getter Robo just to name a few. Kuda's big break as an artist came in 1997 when he began publishing Helsing with Young King Hours magazine. As a supernatural action horror, Helsing oozed style and often spurted endless rivers of blood. It is infamous for its use of graphic violence and gore during the action scenes, as well as the intricate and detailed character designs and art in general. During interviews, he mentions that Helsing is set in the same universe as Bram Stoker's Dracula and hopefully most readers will be able to see the connection. On the two famous publications he made, which are Helsing and Drifters, his favorite characters are Shusa on Helsing and Saint Jeremy on Drifters. According to Kuda, on one of the interview, even though the Drifters are set on feudal Japan, he has not done a lot of research on it. He just loves games and some of the games has history on it. Thus. He get the idea such as the game Nobunaga's Ambition and Civilization. The manga was inspired by Sengoku Jeitai or as a Wikipedia says it, Waring State's Battle of Sekigahara, a novel by Ryo Hanmura, which was then adapted into film and manga. It is the manga and cinema versions which gave birth to Drifters. Josh Krell previously played Mao, a demon who had adapted to living on Earth by possessing a human. This time, he plays Toyohisa, a Japanese samurai from the Sengoku era who has to adapt to the fantasy world after he was brought there by Murasaki. The anime celebrates the 17th anniversary of Shonen Gahosha, the publisher of the original manga by Kota Hirano. Kinichi Suzuki is directing the anime. Hideyuki Kurada is handling the series composition and writing the scripts. Yusuke Kuroda is also writing the scripts along with Kurada. Ryoji Nakamori is designing the characters and also serving as chief animation director. You'd be surprised how few chapters of this manga exist, considering it started in 2009. To this date, there are five volumes. The reason is the creator is kinda laid back. Drifter's promotional video is produced by Madhouse Incorporated, released with the last volume of the Helsing Limited Edition DVD Blu-ray OVA series. It previewed the first few chapters and introduced some of the major characters in the series. In this video, a character name was misspelled. It was supposed to be Saint Jeremy but was spelled as San Yelmi. The manga has sold over 1.5 million copies worldwide in five different languages, 
Drifters has been nominated twice for the annual Manga Taisho Awards, once in the year 2011 and again in the year 2012. The manga was also received well by Bamfest, saying that the action paces itself throughout the volume, making sure to include only enough to keep readers moving quickly through the event until the next transition hits. That's it for this video today. I hope you enjoy it and if you're new, click the subscribe button and also check out the other videos on my channel. Laters and peace out.